Here's a great 30 second tip on how to get goldfinches, one of the most beautiful and exotic little birds we get in British gardens, into your garden and onto your feeder. A lot of pe people stick these feeders up and obviously the goldfinches don't recognise them. So firstly, it's great if you can grow teasels in your own garden by the way for them, but before you fill this with niger seed, cut a couple of the heads off, stick them in the bottom of the niger feeder, sprinkle a bit of seed on it before you hang it up. The goldfinches will come looking for the seed, which they'll recognise for sure, and before you know it, they'll be in the habit of feeding on this. Absolutely easy, no problem at all. So the first thing to find the seed, goldfinches don't find it straight away, it's a sparrow, sparrow can try anything. And their beak it isn't dissimilar to goldfinch, but they're not really built for getting these tiny seeds out of here. And you can see this blue tit's having a go is trying to get its beak in the, in the tiny little holes and cope with the little tiny seeds. But uh, when you see the blue tip trying to eat it, you realise it has quite a job and has to hold it between its, its claws and it's not really finding it very easy to eat the tiny seeds. It is really built for these exotic little goldfinches. And you can see below the bird feeder, things like chaffinches, they're eating things that have been dropped and you can see their beak as well is too broad really. And it's coping here with bits of corn and stuff like that which they prefer. And while I was waiting, I saw this amazing little tree creeper. Now their beak is obviously one of the most specialised there is. It, it's absolutely tiny and it's getting these tiny little grubs out of the bark and out of the moss on the side of this tree. Every little thing about this tree creeper is so specialised just for climbing trees and getting in these tiny little nooks and crannies. And it's eating tiny little grubs there the size of uh, grains of rice really. But anyway, the goldfinches do arrive and oh, aren't they beautiful? And this absolutely lovely little goldfinch just like i said he was attracted first off to the teasels which is his native food and you can see there his beak is absolutely perfect getting those out no troubles at all and he sort of manages to just chew them up on the spot without without using his claws like the blue chip was and then they they find the teasel feeder and you get a really close view of them there and you can see the the seed no problem and they are just the most exotic little bird you can get in your garden aren't they